Right, the, the museum is all the collection of one man. He started when he was seven years old. Um, he's not 50, well, he's coming up for 50 now. Everything in the museum is genuine. There are no reproductions. And it's British military history, and it goes from the late Middle Ages to the present day. Um, we've got an extensive collection of artefacts from the English Civil War. We've also got some very rare items. We've got the only remaining cockle canoe from the Second World War. It has recently been proved that this canoe was actually, part, actually took part in the raid, but it was damaged coming out of the submarine, and that's why it survived. It's the only one that survived. Um, we have a vast collection of military uniforms, all British, of course, and that's from the 1880s to the present day, so we go from red coats to camouflage. Um, we've got our home front gallery, which contains lots of artefacts from the Battle of Britain, clothing that was worn at the time, the air raid precautions, all that sort of thing. Um, we've got a huge collection of British campaign medals, virtually everyone that's ever been issued, plus gallantry award stories of the people that won them. And we also have one of the largest collections of firearms you'll see in any one room in Europe. It was gifted to us by the Ministry of Defence. We have over 700 weapons there, from heavy machine guns down to tiny little pistols that big. Um, so it's, it's a huge collection, um, been lovingly collected and looked after over the last 40 years, really, since Richard started collecting. And that's about, that's about it. But it takes a couple of hours to have a good look around. Um, the building's a bit like a TARDIS, you know, from the outside it looks small. Once you get in, it's quite large. Oh, that's great. Thanks a lot. Cheers.